Hello and welcome to IT Performance. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about NVIDIA's latest video drivers. They enable G-Sync to be compatible with FreeSync monitors uh, on basically any of the, I think, I think it may go back to um, at least the 900 series cards. I'll have a look, I'll have a look. Um, but it allows you to plug a FreeSync monitor into your NVIDIA card and enable G-Sync within the drivers. Um, at the moment, there are about 12 tested compatible um, monitors that they have listed and identified within their drivers. Um, but you can enable it for any any machine that any monitor that has FreeSync, uh, and my new monitor just happens to have FreeSync, and uh, but not G-Sync. So I have downloaded the drivers, and I'll take you through enabling them, and let's have a bit of a test to see how it goes. Okay. Okay. So to enable G-Sync. First of all, you need to download the latest drivers that were released on the 15th of the 1st, 2019. Then go into the NVIDIA control panel. Go to set up G-Sync. Make sure enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible is ticked. That would not have been there before, the G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. You'd, uh, Windowed mode just, just doesn't really work. Um, if you've got multiple displays, select the display. I only have the one display connected to my card, and that's FreeSync enabled. And then <clears throat> you need to tick the enable settings for the dis selected display model. And then it's got a selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So you tick that, click apply, which I've already done. Um, and that's all you need to do. FreeSync. So for mine, I have FreeSync enabled. I have technically three different settings that I can have on this monitor. And one of them I have standard FreeSync. And then another one. I have FreeSync Ultimate Engine. Not really sure what that means. <laughs> I haven't, haven't read up on that. But I have FreeSync turned on. On at least, see it says, says up here. FreeSync, FreeSync on. Standard engine. So I have turned off G-Sync in the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, so I can see what it looks like without that turned on. I have downloaded the, this um, windmill FreeSync test program or from um, that is apparently put out by AMD, but AMD no longer host the file. I don't think they they have the file anywhere for you to download. So I managed to find find a link to it somewhere else. Now <clears throat> you can disable it in the drivers without having to disable it on the monitor, and that just disables it. So that's okay. Uh, so let's have a look. Okay, so with G-Sync off, even though it's still turned on technically on the monitor. Turn off V-Sync. And you can immediately see tearing. If we turn the test pattern on, 
you can see the tearing in the test pattern as well. Uh, turn on animation 2. There, that's much more obvious with the tearing on the blades of the windmill. Okay. So. We then go into the back in. And re enable the G Sync. Hit apply. Turn off V Sync. That's it's not working. That's not showing up with. Freezing on. Okay, so a few trials and tribulations, and it's now working. So, first of all, on my particular monitor at least, I need to have the FreeSync set to the ultimate engine. Then we can start up, then we with G Sync on and ticked, everything ticked and set up we can then start the application turn off vsync and everything looks lovely if we turn on the test pattern it's all smooth as it should be even though it says um, down the bottom here on the side it's got um, AMD FreeSync compatible display, no. Obviously it's working through the G-Sync because uh, change it to 45 frames per second, 50, 55. That test pattern is definitely the best way of telling so if we now once again go out disable free sync apply a uh, g-sync <laughs> start up the app again turn off v-sync can immediately see tearing turn on the test pattern and that just looks terrible just looks terrible so it works huzzah now that I know that it needs to be on the ultimate engine to work I shall do some better testing along those lines but it works. Uh, I haven't had any issues. I haven't seen any blank scr um, screens. Um, one of the reports for uh, monitors that will not 100% work are every now and again a blank picture will blank um, frame will be inserted into the picture you're looking at and I have not seen any of that as yet re-enable G-Sync it's a good little app actually really shows the differences Especially that test pattern. Okay. Thanks for coming. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay. See you next time.